Okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today's session is a session for our continuing Guru Purnima series. And uh, this time I thought nothing better than taking a session where you can directly connect with the uh, ether element, that is the Guru element. Now, this is a part of a yoga and it is also a part of astrology. Uh, we can use it in multiple varied ways. The technique that I will teach you today can be used in multiple ways, can be used by each and every person for each and every one. Okay? And it's very simple. Yes, Nina. I cannot hear you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So uh, let me share my work. I have already done uh, two videos where I have taught uh, the different how to activate the different chakras and everything. So this is in continuation with that. Okay. Since we are learning a new uh, a new method, a new uh, science. This science is called as Swarnya. So we will start with a small prayer to Lord Ganpati. And today is a very auspicious day of Nag Panchmi. So Panchmi is always related to some new education, new studies. Okay, so let's pray to Lord Ganpati. Also, uh, let us call in Ma Saraswati, that is Om Sa Saraswati Namaha. You can do this for five times. Okay. Now, so what is Swarnyan? Let's come to that. We all know that the first guru and the teacher is always considered to be Lord Shiva and Mahapatra. They were our first gurus. The Shiva always used to teach Mahaparvati. Everything that we know today on this earth was taught by him to Mahapatra. So one day Mahaparvati asked Lord Shiva, Ki uh, Mahadev, Lord, just tell me ki how this whole Brahman has come into existence. How, how has this Brahman come into existence? How are the elements formed? And how these elements get destroyed to form another Brahman? You all know. Hello. Please mute your mics. Okay. So, basically, uh, all, all the Brahmans, from time to time, the Brahman also changes. From time to time, our living space, earth also will be destroyed and swallowed by the sun one day. So, every time a new Brahman comes into collision. So, how is this formed? How are the five elements formed? How are the five elements destroyed again to form back into a new Brahman? So, everything is about the five elements. Now, these five elements exist in the earth also, exist in the surroundings, and also in our own body. That's why there is a saying, Yat Pinde Tat Brahmande. Whatever is there in the universe is all there inside you also. You are just a small microscopic part of the universe. Okay? So, the first element that came into existence was ether, that is Akash Tattva. From the Akash came the Vayu. From the Vayu came the uh, fire. From the fire came the Jala. And from the Jala came the earth. Prithvi element. We all have these five elements within us. These five elements are the base of our chakras. The chakras that we have and the chakras that we use the chakras that uh, are uh, most important in our body because they control each and everything. 
Each chakra has these. Uh, each chakra is based on one element. Like the Muladhara chakra, it is the root chakra. It is the earth tattva. Earth. Okay. These are the various chakras that we have already done two sessions. You all can just go and follow the links uh, Tripti has given you all, those two. So Muladha Chakra is earth, Swadishtan Chakra is water, Manipur is fire, Ananta is air, Vishuddhi is ether, Ajnya Chakra is light and Shastra is water. Whenever we are doing certain mudras, then we are combining those two fingers because each finger also has a tattva. If you can see over here, each finger also has a tattva. So if we are doing like this, then we are combining fire and air. And what does the combination of fire and air gives us? It is wisdom. If we are doing this, then it gives us spaciousness. It will detox your body. If you are doing this, if you are a person who is not grounded, who has only thoughts, thoughts and thoughts, and these thoughts does not come into action, then you need to do this Prithvi Mudra. The, uh, the thumb and the third thing. Are you all understanding this or you all have any questions? Anybody? Yes, we understood. Okay. After this, we also have done the how to activate each and every chakra. I have taught you all this also. Because if you have any problems relating to your earnings or you have fear that I am not stabilized or anything, then you all have to recite the root chakra, uh, Bija mantra, that is love. That is love. So each chakra has one specific, uh, you can say, function in our body. And if that function is spoiled, then you all can use a simple. How you have to recite? You have to sit in any mudra, your life, and just go on reciting. Lam. 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 I have taken these chakras in detail, so I will not take it here again. Please go and see, watch my videos if you all are interested. Otherwise, it's okay. Because today's session is not about chakras. It is about how we are breathing. But you can take that science further. Once you connect to the breath, and then you can connect to the elements. And you all can do each and every work once you know which nostril I'm breathing and which tattva is happening at that time. That is how you all can connect. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now see, basically, there are 10 nadis, 10 main nadis. But today we'll be taking only three main nadis. The first uh, three main nadis are very, very important that we always always there in every yoga, uh, yoga lectures and everything that is known as Ida Nadi, Pingla Nadi, and Shish. How do, how do these Ida, Pingla, these Ida and Pingla are in waveforms. They cross each other. Can you see it? The red one, the pink one, is the Ida Nadi. That is the sun Nadi, representing the sun. It is called as Surya Nadi. The Pingla is the moon Nadi. That is the blue color one. That also intertwines. And the Shushma Nadi is in between. And all the chakras are situated on the Shushma Nadi. Okay, so when we are breathing, see, okay, now everybody put on your uh, videos. I want to see how you check your breath. I want to see that. Please, if you all are interested, please put on your videos.
Okay. Now, uh, okay. What you all do is you all take a three breath, take a deep breath. And when you release it, hold this hand near your nostril and see which nostril the air comes out. Okay. Which nostril is it? Right. Left. Right. Right, right. Right, madam. So now, basically, the right nadi is active. That is, the Surya nadi is active. Now, this working of the nadi changes every ghati. There are 60 ghatis in one day. Like, there are 24 hours in a day. There are 60 ghatis in a day. So every ghati, now it is Surya. After, after some time, it will become Chandra. After some time, it will become Surya. And in between, you will also get few seconds of Shushmanai. Okay. So today's basic lecture is what things can be done in Surya Nadi and what things can be done in Chandra Nadi and what you should do when a Shushma Nadi is working. Am I clear about this? Yes. And how do Which you have means to... we have to uh, check, keep checking. Yes. Whenever you are doing some important work or whenever, uh, I will come to it, whenever we are doing something, then we check our Nadi. Uh, is the proper Nadi working? And if it is not working, if suppose I need a Chandra Nadi now, now it is Surya Nadi. But I need a Chandra Nadi. So what can be done to change that swell? Okay. So. Am I clear till here? Yeah. Chandra Nadi, how to check how we can, yes. how we are breathing and everything. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to things that we can do in this uh, What's happening? What things we can do in when my right nostril is working? That is known as Surya Nadi. What are the things that can be done? Suppose you are studying, starting some new education. If you are traveling, if you are doing some business, if you are doing any of the mining works, wood cutting, any writing works, weightlifting, kushti, sword fighting, any of the exercises, any of the games you all are playing, outdoor games, where you need lot and lot of energy, then your Surya Nadi should be working. Even if you are uh, involved in court cases and you are going to the court and you want key your uh, court matter, you want to prove that you are right, then your Surya Nadi should be working. If someone wants to do thefts, if someone wants to cheat, then also the Surya Nadi is working, uh, most important. A, a king or a nation, when they go to fight, when they're taking wars, then their Surya Nadi should be working. Otherwise, if Chandra Nadi is working, it is sure they cannot win these wars. So basically, action oriented. Very action oriented because sun is the energy that gives this action. Yeah. Moon cannot give this energy. Moon is very calm, very quiet. It will take care of uh, it, very protective, very, uh, you can say, uh, it is like a mother. Okay? So, whenever you are doing homas, you are doing some homas, you want to do some uh, tantras, hypnotism. Uh, you want to do, many people do Vashikaran, which I don't suggest. I don't even suggest tantras. I don't suggest hypnotism. But these people use a swara, swara, uh, Surya Swara when they are doing these activities. A Homa, if you perform and you start your Surya Swara, that Homa is very, very successful. 
But say, suppose it's a chandraswar when I'm doing a homa, then it is as good as putting water on that homa. If you are doing any fire related works, like smelting, furnaces, minings, all these are to be done with swara, surya swara. Sexual activities, exercises. See now here, taking bath. Which swara should be on if I'm taking up? What do you all think? It's action. Uh, yeah, no, but if I take a moon swara over here, then already it is water and again moon chwara becomes too much water. That can be harmful. Okay. All types of wood cutting, horse riding, any other animal related things you all are doing, all these are swara, surya swara. Okay. Then let's go to the moon swara, chandra swara. Things that can be done where you want permanence, permanence. Like say, suppose you want to buy a property and you are going to uh, do the, uh, uh, you are going to uh, legally buy it and do the signatures and everything, then your Chandraswara should be working. And if Chandraswara is working, with that, the Prithvi Tattva is working then this property will remain with you for a long time. But if you want to sell this property, then you do it in the air. Then. You are buying just for investment and you want to sell it, do it in the air. But main is your left nostril should be working. Whenever you are doing germination of seeds, farming, agriculture, you are buying new ornaments, you all are buying new clothes. You all are making some water bodies. Like uh, many people, they create pots. They create uh, uh, tanks for waters in their villages so that people can get water. If they are traveling, traveling is of two kinds. If you are traveling for work, it is Surya Nadi. If you are traveling for pressure, it is Chandra. When you want to make friends, even during marriages, most important, this marriage one is a big, big. Whenever someone, two people are getting married, tell them to activate their Chandra Nadi. What happens then is these people, whenever they fight, they do anything, then they solve their problems. Even when a new bride comes to the home, she is entering our home for the first time after marriage, tell her to activate her Chandra Nadi and put the left leg forward. That is a trick. Then that bride will stay with you, will work with you. These are small things. See, I'm not saying 100% they will work. Of course, their nature, then everything, uh, kundi and everything matters. But these are small things can be done. They can be done. Right? But you have seen brides, they enter the home and they put a, a rice uh, kalash and tell her to drop the uh, moon, uh, this rice. Right? Yes? So what is that rice? Rice itself is moon. It's Chandra. So indirectly, you are already activating. But will be better if you if you are breathing from the left nostril and entering with the left leg. Even when you are doing that hastamila, that time also, if the bride and the bridegroom both the uh, Chandra Nadi is activated. It will save a lot of marriages, I see. No one does this nowadays because the science has totally gone off. In previous science, everyone knew the science. And now, no one knows about the science. The science is so deep, I learned it for one year with my teacher. But today I can take only a basic introductory course. Uh, section because uh, 
एट लीस्ट यू आर नाउ नो की वॉट आई शुड डू इन विच एट लीस्ट दैट मच इज क्लियर इट इज इट या constructing homes temples water bodies even when you are going to the temple activate your left nostril when you are entering the temple activate your next uh, left nostril acha there is one more thing ki for every small thing don't change your swaras it is only for your most important things very important thing you are doing today then only do it like today you want to buy a property today you want to buy gold ornaments that time you are doing every time please don't keep on changing because these breads these uh, in taking and outgoing breads are something which is natural so don't keep on changing that but how do we change it yeah i am coming to that so okay so while we are changing it when you are saying buying ornaments uh, is it when you actually go to the shop to buy it or when you are leaving your house go to i suppose this now you are traveling and uh, you will reach the shop after one hour mm. so if you are activating from home no use when you are actually buy then okay but say my uh, gold uh, smith is just near by 5 minutes then you can start when you are leaving your home house okay okay every hour in one hour there are 2.5 ghatis okay Okay, so one ghati is twenty-four minutes. One ghati is twenty-four minutes. So your one swara activation is for twenty-four minutes. So you'll plan accordingly. Okay. Right. Say some. Uh, I bought a property. I'm going to sign the papers. Uh, but there, I was made to sit for four hours mm. before my turn came. Hmm. So when I come to know that now I am going to go inside for signing the papers, that time I activate. Okay. Activation okay. requires only I think thirty seconds or one minute. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Now whenever your shushma nari is working, don't do anything in that. This is the most important thing. This is only for meditation and mantra. Only for that. Okay, so don't do anything related. And this is this hardly this doesn't go on for twenty four minutes. This is a swara only for few seconds or at the most thirty seconds or one. You cannot extend it. So you don't have between the two. Yeah, you don't have any control on this. Only the great great yogis they have control of this. we normal people do not have control on this ki i want to do meditation i want to become very very spiritual and let me activate my shushma swara not okay okay now see basically everyone should know this is the correct way of sleeping this posture is the correct way of sleeping and most important you can sleep without the pillows okay but this is the way you all should sleep now say this person is sleeping and if i say ki uh, which is this hand if i take left hand yeah? this is left. my left hand correct hmm so when i am sleeping with my left hand on the mattress my right nostril is working my right nostril starts working if i am sleeping with the left hand on the mattress mm. you understood this position yes of sleep everyone yes. just yes. nod everyone yes yes yes, yes. So yes. my right nostril is working okay is it right hand i am getting confused sorry say if i'm just taking an example say if i'm sleep this is my left hand okay? okay this is my left hand now are you getting it padma ma'am okay ma'am okay so then my right nostril is working so if i want to change it to my left nostril i will just turn over and sleep on my right hand do you all get it 
Yes or no? Yes. But no. which is better? Which is better? It depends upon the work you want to do, na? How you have to change the swara? I have shown you the technique. When you are sleeping, you can sleep on any side you want. That is no problem. Night time sleeping, you can sleep. This is the correct posture for sleeping. But the, uh, how to change the swara? That was the main question. Now many will ask me, "Ki I have gone out. I cannot sleep and do this, right? I cannot sleep. I am going to a goldsmith. I want to buy gold. I cannot go and sleep over there and start my other nostril if I need to do it. So what you will do at that time? See what you are doing. Which nostril was working now? Again, check which nostril is working. Which nostril is working? Left? Right now, both. Left. 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 Right, left, Joby work kar raha hai. My right nostril is working. So I want my left nostril to work. What I will do is simply close my right nostril for a few seconds. I will take in breath from the left, release from the left. Few times and your nostril will change. See, again I am saying, don't do this very often. Don't utilize this. God has given you all nature. Please don't break those rules. But if you all are doing something very, very important, you all can do this. Suppose you all are having a big fight with anyone. Say your husband, your son. Fattafat say activate your left nostril. The fight will finish off. Okay, so these activation of nostrils is a big, big science. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, you have, uh, say uh, you want someone sitting in front of you to do something that you want him to do. Suppose I want uh, something from my husband. Suppose I want him to do something. Sit on the left side of your husband and activate your left nostril. Okay, then he will start listening to you. Many have this key, my spouse doesn't listen to me. They do anything they want and they don't pay attention. Start using, okay. This will not happen in one day or two days. This you have to practice. And it might take you, you can say one year, two years, I don't know. Okay, this, but activation of nostrils, you can start immediately. But for a person to listen to you or you want positive changes or you want to pull down, say a person is very, 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 very angry. Every time, now and then he gets angry. You check his BP is more. Most of the time, his right nostril is working. Okay? So, are both ways clear for you how to change your swaras? And if both the nostrils are working, even for two seconds, four seconds, whatever, even for 30 seconds, two minutes, sit and start reciting any mantra that comes to your head. Om is the easiest of the things that you all can do. And this Om mantra is so, so powerful that nothing can beat it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, how to change the swara? I've already taught you. Now see, those who want to go still higher and use this in prashna, immediate answers you get. If someone is asking any prashna, I will not teach you how to do the prashna. I will just teach you how to connect with the uh, the swara and the five elements. Prashnas can be varied. That is a very, very big topic. Ki suppose the uh, Chandra swara is working and there is a fire element. So, which say suppose a Chandra swara is working and there is a fire element. 
and if the person is asking you ki uh, will my property i am thinking of buying a property can i buy a property so answer is big no because both are enemies chandra and fire are enemies no did not get it uh, shikha fire element will come from where ha so how to get the fire element i am just teaching you that ah okay, okay. so this is an acha now this can be done only with very very evolved people who those who are already into meditation and doing meditation from a long time and those who have superb intuitions those who have superb intuitions can do this the tatva will come to them okay so this is called as a shanmukhi mudra tripti are you there one of them left no she said she had some. i don't know uh, she might let have left for a trust okay so tripti uh, this is a shanmukha mudra she is the, our yoga teacher she can explain this mudra very well but it's okay see how do you do this shanmukha mudra these four fingers keep it on your eyes the other two fingers lightly very slightly press these nostrils and the rest to like this and the thumbs in the ears thumbs in the ears everyone do this okay okay when you do this mudra and meditate on it meditate on it and you inside you because your eyes are closed so you are doing this meditation look at this chakra ajnya chakra concentrate fully on this ajnya chakra and after some time the tatvas will show over you the tatvas will show over you. So this, this is, is a little like that uh, when you do brahma re no except yes. that this is over this your brahma re you do like this but here it is very specific you are controlling your breath you are uh, feeling the which breath is working you can feel by these fingers mm. right correct okay so now how will you identify ki what chakra is working uh, what tatva is working at that time see if you get if in that meditation over here you get a square yellow color vibration then it becomes a tripti if it is round and blue then it is violet and if it is black or again a sky blue or something then it becomes the ether element if it is white and semi circular like the moon then it is water and triangular and red it is fire so with each swara you have to relate like for moon if there is a moon tatva coming for chandra swara means too much of water so then it is not very good but if in moon you are getting prithvi tatva and a person comes and asks can i buy gold ornaments now yes you can can i do a grah pravesh now yes you can okay if my surya tatva is working a uh, surya nadi is working and if you get a red color triangle over here after that meditation then if he asks will i one uh, will i uh pass my examination yes you can pass my examination so this is not while meditating while meditating you will get this but the prashna will be after the meditation right yes no no uh, those who have uh, already mastered this technique now hmm. in every second they know what tatva is working for them. they don't even have to go into that Wow. like my teacher 
If I ask him any question, or he will answer in one second. What he will do? He will just see which swara is working and what tattva is working for him at that time. Okay. Okay. So now we we cannot reach that level very easily. So what you all can do is you can get a uh, a square yellow shape. You all can uh, create anything like. Uh, you all can take uh, any metal say uh, copper and uh, paint it yellow a square uh, square or this thing for vayu tattva you can collect a blue stone for akash tattva you all can collect a black stone for uh, water tattva you all can uh, collect a white stone and for uh, tejas that is fire you all can collect a red stone even you all can just collect these gems you all get the semi precious gems right mm -hmm. you can collect a blue sapphire you can collect a moon ka pearl you can collect a red coral and then you all can keep your eyes closed keep these five that was in front of you and whenever someone asks a question you can just pick up one with your eyes closed that will give you the tattva okay you can also ask the samne wala person to choose any one of these five okay okay clear clear any questions no. any questions till here madam yes sir <clears throat> suppose uh, i am getting uh, i am running fever sorry i am running fever ha ah, you are running fever so if i sleep on the right side uh, hmm. then uh, my fever will come down so it will be yes will be yes because the... you will be activating your uh, left yeah. nostril very yes. correct now suppose you are having cold cough and everything then you then you activate your right Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we'll end the session here today, and uh, I hope I have made things clear for you. Thank you, Shikha. It was uh, really very knowledgeable. I really wasn't aware of this. Yes, I know many people. Only I think Jagruti from here knows because she has done this class. Ah. we both did this together with our teacher the first teacher of astrology i want to thank him very much for the things he has taught us at literally like you know zero cost this class was totally free but people hardly came to this class of us which was very very so thank you generally when i meditate i get between that akash and apas and i always wondered what it is yeah but then that is not the uh, that is you are not getting all the five that was it is not like you know always when we meditate only thing we can see is white light and blue light yeah that is a level we reach but no, this I see is black i see black most ah, sometimes black also because but black that time comes as a fear something mm -hmm. fear of But we have not reached the stage where we can get into the. Yeah, but because we don't do it that seriously. Correct. And this is this a, is interesting. Now you can kind of. Yeah, and if you if you go deeply into it, you can each answer each and every question. Uh, question a person has come to ask. You don't need astrology. You don't need anything. Which be chaiye. Thank you so much. For okay, I hope this session was informative, and you all have liked the session. Uh, viewers, thank you for watching our Guru Purnima series. Thank you for putting such lovely comments over there. Please do like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you so much, Shikaji. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for attending. Thank you so much.